So this is another example of um, how we would use the t distribution to determine confidence interval for a mean. Um, so for this one, instead of being just simply given a mean and a standard deviation, um, you're going to be given a list and we'll have to work with the list. So what we're trying to figure out is what the average age is, let's say for the population of, um, of your college's math instructors. So the ages of um, 15, that's our sample, the ages of 15 um, math instructors, Southwestern College math instructors, is given below. So there's, I'll put this list here. And what I want you to do is use that list to make an estimate um, for the population of math instructors. Um, at a 95% confidence interval. So for the population of math instructors. Using a 95% confidence interval. Now, so it's a relatively simple calculation that we're looking to do. We, ne we can have 95% confidence um, that um, if we can figure out the average, the mean of these guys here, once we figure out what that mean is, we're just going to um, add a margin of error that looks like this. So now a couple of things. We don't know what the population standard deviation is. Um, we know that our sample size is um, is is not well a couple of things. Sigma is not known that's true. So we have to be told that this is a normally distributed population. Otherwise, our sample has to be greater than 30. So we're, you know, we don't use these methods um, unless we know that we've sampled from a, from a normally distributed population. So that's required. Um, otherwise, this is good math, but bogus statistics. So the ages would be 34, 37, 37. I'm going to go into statistics editor in a second and drop these numbers in and use one var stats to see what these values give me for, um, for x bar, the mean, and also for the standard deviation. I already know that n is equal to 15. Um, so once I have this information, I can figure out what the margin of error is. Um, but since sigma is not given, right? Sigma is unknown. All we have is this. We're using the t distribution. So that's 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 53, 54, 54, let's see, 45, 45, 52, 53, 54, 54, and 60. So that's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So actually let's make this 14. Um, and then I'll also give us a different value on the table. So we only have 14 to work with. So how do we plug this in? Um, we're going to go to our calculator. We're going to go to statistics editor and we're going to put these values in the list. Right now there's something in list 1 and 2 so I'll go to list 3. I'll put in those values 34 37, 37 Um, and then assuming I've made no mistakes, I'll go ahead and use one of our stats for list 3. Um, there is no frequency list associated with this. It's just simply list 3 that we're interested in. And the values that I get, um, it looks like x bar mean is 45. 0.2857 and the standard deviation is 7.9752. So from one of our stats on list 3, what we get is that the mean value is 45.2857 and the standard deviation for that sample is 7.975 So I think we're in good shape. We have um, we have that and we have that and we have that. The only thing we don't know is what the t-value is. So since we have 14 instructors um, the degrees of freedom is 1 minus that or 13. So the degrees of freedom we have, so we go down here, is 13. And using this, right, it's a 95% confidence interval. So that tells you what the area is in the two tails, um, right? It's 5% in the two tails. Um, so 0 0.05 um, and so it looks like we're going to use a 2.16 so we go down across to here and across to here and we get um, T uh, the critical value of T is 2.16 so we can plug those values in and it's going to give us um, 45.2857 plus or minus um, 2.16 um, times the standard deviation all over the square root of the size. Uh, so let's clear this out. Let's plug those numbers in. Um, 2.16 times uh, 7.9752 divided by the square root divided by the square root of 14 and we get a 
So if you do the math on these two, um, you both do the subtraction first to get the smaller and the addition to get the large. I'll show it here, 45.28, 45.28 minus 4.6039, so 40.68. I'm going to keep the values in because if I start rounding off too soon, um, we're going to see more errors, and then a 40. Um, 45.2857 plus 4.6039 all the way up to 49.89. So that's the confidence interval, or 95% confidence interval for um, the ages of instructors. And we did that from a list. Now, using the TI-83, TI-84. So using your calculators, let's do it. And it's going to be a quicker process if we use our calculator. Um, we're just going to go to tests and we're going to drop down to T interval, which is number eight. And so if we already had the standard deviation, we could put that in there. Usually you're just quite often you'll just have a list of values and so we had ours our values in list 3 so if you just want to give it a list this will do the calculator will do everything else for you um, so if I give it a list it'll do everything that we just did and just simply present the confidence interval and so there it is the 40 point six eight and the forty nine point eight nine so using our calculator we end up getting the same um, values that we did when we did the kind of the more exhaustive lengthy way